Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am B Swift from High 96.3, your afternoon personality, 3 to 7 each and every day, Monday through Sunday. And today we are here to talk about it's never too late to graduate. And it's a wonderful program right here in Indianapolis that 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 helps you with that. And they go by the Crystal House doors. And I have three young ladies uh, joining me today. And the first young lady I would like to bring up is Miss Heather. Heather! Good morning. Hey, Good morning. how are you? I'm great. How are you this morning? I'm doing amazing. Um, can you tell people what's your title at Crystal House? Sure. I am the principal of the Crystal House Doors West um, location. We're at 55 North Tibbs. Okay. Now, uh, the dope part about this, and we'll get into this during this whole panel, is they have multiple locations and even some things that work for students during the pandemic. So we'll, we'll, we'll get into this, but I have to bring Noel up next. Noel, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Can you give us your title at Crystal House? Absolutely. I am Noel Wilson. I'm the principal at the Crystal House Doors at Ivy Tech. We are located at Fall Creek and Meridian down in the North Meridian Center building. All right. And the next person we would love to bring up is Rachel. Rachel, uh, can you come up and uh, can you give us your affiliation with Crystal House Doors? Hello, good morning. I am Rachel as Okichuku. I'm a student at Crystal House Doors West. All right. So the, the great part about this panel for everybody tuning in, not only do you get to hear from the principals and staff, but we also have a student because it's very important for you if, if going back to high school and getting your diploma is, is very big that you hear from somebody who sat in the seat that you will get a, a chance to sit in. And I, I, I just want to start this off and, and ask you, um, ladies, if I was someone who who was thinking, man, I want to get my high school diploma. I never finished. And and how can I make this happen? And I'm hearing about Crystal House Doors. The very first question I have is, is there a cost associated with this? No, thankfully, we are a tuition-free high school for adults um, where you will attend and earn your Indiana Core 40 diploma. Um, we help out with dual credit. Um, we help with certifications, but there is no cost associated whatsoever. And I think that's amazing. Now, the next question I have is, yo, I haven't been in high school. Some people a few years, some people a lot of years. I, I And I know your classes range in age. Can you kind of give me a, uh, um, a breakdown of am I too old if I'm in my 60s or am I too young if I'm 19 to attend your school? You are never too old to, to come back and rejoin us as a learner. Um, our oldest student currently is 73, and we have students, um, typically our students start with us at um, 18, but we do have a few 17-year-olds who are waiting right there on that cusp of turning 18 who have joined us a little bit early. Um, so we service adults of all ages, and we would welcome any adults who want to join us. And, and, and Noel, while we're talking and we're speaking of adults of any ages, um, why is it important for someone who is thinking like, hey, I, I have an 18 year old child or 16 year old child, a 15 year old child who could be possibly graduating. And I want to go back because it one, it could mean something to them, but it also means something to me and it helps me with jobs. Like, can you explain why it's important to, to get the high school diploma, no matter the age? Absolutely. What we um, what statistics tell us is that families who have parents who have graduated from high school are 50 percent more likely to have children who also graduate from high school. And we often have uh, multi-generational families that join us. We have a grandmother and a granddaughter who come together. We have sibling pairs and husband and wife pairs. Um, so we have all kinds of family groups who come to join us. And that's really exciting to see them all working towards um, that same goal together. And that's dope because that's a great, like you said, a great goal to to push each other um, to accomplish. Now, one thing I ask is, OK, I'm going to do this, but I live on the west side or I live on the east side of Indianapolis or south side. Like, talk to me about campus locations. Sure. So we have three physical campus locations. We've got our west location here at 55 North Tibbs. And then we're also located on the fourth floor of the North Meridian Center at Ivy Tech. Uh, just north of downtown. And in the evenings, we offer classes on the south side, just near Gar Garfield Park. Um, but in addition to that now, which kind of has grown out of the current situation we are in with the pandemic, um, 
classes right now are being presented virtually. So it doesn't really matter where you are physically, you'll be able to get in and connect with your teachers and your classmates in a virtual environment. Um, so in addition to those three physical places where hopefully in after the beginning of the year, we'll be seeing students again in person, uh, we do offer all of our classes to you virtually. Okay. Now, now, Rachel, this is when I, I want to talk to you a little bit because you're someone who, who went through these classes and did you do virtual or were you in, in the buildings? I've done both. I okay. Tried to teach well. yeah. okay. So, so let's talk real quick. And, and how, how was the virtual experience for you uh, going back to school and now you were in the building at one point and now you're doing this by computer? Did, was it difficult or did you find the transition very easy? Um, it wasn't easy at first initially, but I just said to myself that I can do this and I translated and the teachers have been so helpful. Um, we have pre-recorded videos where you could watch and they are very, very interactive. It's like you are in class. You know, you could pause. Like we use EduPuzzle where mm -hmm. they ask questions and you have the time to solve it like you are in class. And you turn in the questions, you would know if you got it or not. That very, very interactive classes. Aside um, having your friends around, there is nothing different from being in person. It's very easy. It's beautiful, and you can play back your video like when you're in, unlike when you're in classes. You right. can play back the videos. You could watch it at any time. It's very convenient, and I kind of like it now. Like I like it really well now. And that's great. Now, can we, me and you, I, I, I want to talk to you as a student because as somebody who's thinking about going to get my high school diploma, I haven't been in school for five years, ten years, or, or however long how was the classroom environment? Because, you know, maybe I haven't done math in 10 years and I'm a little behind or I, I, I react a little slower. Did you find the classrooms and the teachers to be very helpful and, and work with you or your classmates be very help, helpful to help you get ahead and learn the material that you needed? Absolutely. I left school 20 years ago. I'm 41 and I left high school 20 years ago. So when I head off Crystal House doors, I had my reservations. I never liked maths. I don't like maths. I, I hate maths. You know, so when I came into when I came into school, the first class, I just sat down and I'm like, oh, I don't like maths. You know, but when we touched it, I, I saw that maths is the easy, it's easier than English. It's <laughs> the easiest subject or course you can do. My teachers would explain it with things around you that would bring it to your level. Like you just cannot help but understand it. It's so easy. I started wondering why I didn't understand it while I was younger. I'm a mom of three. I'm a full-time housewife. I'm a full-time worker. And I could easily understand math. Like I look at things around me and I just add it. I'm like, okay, if you add these to do, you get these. I, I, I talk math, I solve math. It's very easy. And we have teachers that even if you don't understand and you ask them questions over and over, they are patient with you. You would you would be you 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 are careful not to um, over ask, but they are there. Even if it's going to take them thirty minutes to teach you, they go ahead and teach you and do that until you understand. It's so easy. And um, I no day passes by me that I don't solve maths. Now I solve maths every day. I look forward to maths classes. It's very that's, easy now. Th that's amazing. And and even in these classes, did you and your, your classmates um help each other a lot, like work in groups and, and and really push each other to 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 figure it out and to you know what I mean? Like, did you have that type of camaraderie? It's like, hey, we're gonna yeah. do this together. We came in together, we're gonna leave this place together with the diploma at the same time because it's a team. We we rooting for the same goal. Yes. Because um, our teachers created avenues where you could pair yourself to work and they allow you to choose who you want to work with. So I have a sister, a friend I work with. And if I'm stuck, I would just chat her up, hey, what's happening here? And she explains to me, oh, I do the same and we pull it through. And it's been very easy. It's, it's nothing. It's just easy. We work together and we solve this together. 
And and I think that's dope because the the environment that's created at Crystal House Doors is definitely an environment of everybody achieving and, and reaching the final goal. Now, one thing that I love about Crystal House Doors, um, Heather and, and Noel, that I want you to speak on is not only do you graduate, this isn't a, a, a normal little piece of paper like a GED or something that says, hey, you finished. But this you, you actually give out diplomas with core 40s. Um, can you explain the diploma situation over there for people out there? Sure. Uh, Noel, do you want to take this one? Sure. So, yes, all of our students leave us with a Core 40 high school diploma. And like Heather had mentioned, um, part of that is, is having a pathway. And we offer certification programs and in the industry certifications, as well as dual credit classes through Ivy Tech. And those are all free to our students. Um, so they are able to take advantage of any of those opportunities. Then once they have that diploma in their hand, that's not the end of the road for our students. Um, we then follow our students for five years post-graduation to ensure that whatever comes next in um, their career path, um, that we're there to support them through that. So if they are then wanting to move on to um, post-secondary education at a university or a college, we help them with that application process and making sure that they get financial aid taken care of. Um, we also can help them with further certifications in the industry or job placements. Um, we have our alumni coach who follows them for five years after they leave us um, and helps to support them. And we um, actually have a little bit of money that we help students with uh, materials that they might need. So if a student, you know, say is in need of a laptop to finish college classes, um, those are things that we can help them acquire along the way during those five years to be sure that they're successful. And, and that's amazing because, again, I, I think to follow the student for five years is is, is helpful as you know, what I mean, like it, it gives them the motivation. Hey, somebody's here with me to make sure that I complete my goal. And I think that's over the top amazing, especially leaving high school to go to college. I think we all need that type of help and that type of encouragement now. One thing I, I want to talk to you about is because Indianapolis is so big. It's so many uh, people here, so many ethnic ethnicities here. What if I'm someone who doesn't speak English very well, or maybe I don't speak English, I'm Spanish uh, speaking or, or another language? Like, how do you guys help that? We are really blessed to have an amazing group of teachers who work with our English language learners. So regardless of the level of language acquisition in English, uh, we will have a program that, that will fit and help. So in addition to offering the Core 40 diploma, if students are struggling with English or language acquisition with us, then they will go through the English language learners program and then matriculate then into the um, traditional high school classes. So here at West, we have 74% of our students who are English language learners. So it really helps to form a community for our students here. Um, a lot of our students are first generation immigrants or have come to us um, because they want to learn how to speak English and then decide that in addition to learning the language, they also wanna earn their diploma. So it's a really inclusive program where we have several students who speak Spanish. We have students who speak um, Arabic, French, um, lots of different languages that are represented in Africa. So it's not a place where you already have to come in having even the language, you know, we'll start from point blank um, learning the alphabet and, and different words until our students are able to um, build to the level where they're ready to get that education in English. A lot of our students come to us and they've been um, post-secondary educations in their home language. Um, and what happens when you come here is that, you know, our education system doesn't recognize that. So we take a lot of pride on building relationships and finding out what it is the student wants to do and making sure that we're able to support them academically through that, um, through language acquisition, through getting their diploma. Um, we also have lots of wraparound services that I'm sure we'll talk about more, but it's very unique the um, culture that cultures that are represented by our students. And I feel so blessed to be able to have those different experiences um, with the students and knowing that they're able to um, expand, not just academically, but by learning the language, they um, are able to fit more into society. So it's, it's amazing that the work that our English language learner um, teachers do with our students. 
Now, one thing Rachel said kind of stood out to me, and I want to talk to you about this because I know you guys help out. Um, Rachel's a full-time mom. She has three kids. How does a person with, with, with three kids or maybe even go to work every day and, and, and trying to figure out how to fit the school into their, their, their schedule? How, how do you guys help? Because I know it's, it's hard sometimes of having to be home with the kids. I have to figure out maybe transportation. As you said, I'm, I'm an immigrant or I just don't have the, the transportation. How do you guys step in and give the, the students that type of assistance? Sure, this is something that we have always prided ourselves on um, and being able to meet the needs of various learners coming with various um, situations. Um, but the pandemic has really highlighted that situation for us because we now have um, students who have children of their own who are coming from various different um, school districts in the area. And as we all know, different districts have followed um, different processes for um, whether students would be on e-learning from home or working from um, the school building. So we have needed to be very flexible um, to meet the needs of our students who often needed to be home with their students, with their own children, um, due to e-learning needs and those kinds of things. So we um, offer our schedule in a way that um, can meet the needs of various students. Um, we typically, we have a daytime program um, that students either come to a morning slot or they can come in the afternoon. Then we also have an evening program. Um, and those are typically in person when we are um, face to face in the building. So students have that opportunity for that, um, that typical school experience. Then we also have students who are working online, even when we don't have um, pan the pandemic situation going on, um, who work on APEX, which is an online program um, that we offer where they can earn credits as well. Um, we also are really great to be flexible with schedules. If we have a student who says, you know, my work schedule says, you know, that I can, can only be at school three mornings a week. Um, you know, we're flexible and we work with that schedule. Um, our typical schedule is a four day a week, um, half day program for students from Monday through Thursday. They either attend for the AM Monday through Thursday or Monday through Thursday for the PM. Um, and then Fridays are off where we offer um, walk-in tutoring for students. Um, so really the sky is the limit and we've be learned to become even more flexible during the pandemic. And it's really opened our eyes to the needs for um, some other flexible opportunities, even as we move out of the pandemic. So we're excited about the opportunities that that's going to offer us. And 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 before I ask you the next question, Rachel, I, I, I want to ask Heather and Noel a question because I hear the passion in your voice when it comes to talking about Crystal House doors. And being a teacher, you can go work with with small kids, you can go work with middle school and teenage kids. So to to come over to Crystal House doors, it tells me that you really love this, this, this passionate. And, and I want to ask you both, what made you decide to choose Crystal House Doors as somewhere that you wanted to be? That's a great question. Um, I spent 20 years in traditional high school. Um, and so it was something that when I heard about the program, it is, um, I was really intrigued. And so when I came in and kind of toured the facilities and did some interviewing, what stood out to me is the, um, the importance on building relationships and really caring for whole people as opposed to caring for people just as a teacher or an administrator or a student. But the types of services that we're able to provide and offer to our students um, through our resource specialists who are like social workers, um, through our assessors who are the guidance counselors, the types of uh, the feeling that you get when you get here feels as if it's an extension of your family. And so we really want to know our students personally. Uh, we want to get over um, any obstacles that might be standing in the way. And we work with them in a way that um, really addresses like a, a whole person, very holistic. And that was something that I was missing in my career before. And the sense of purpose and community that we have here at Doors amongst the staff, amongst the students, um, I've, it's just been unmatched in any place that I've been previously. Noel? 
Sure. And for me, um, I have a, a background in special education. So I taught special education for 20 years um, and seven of those was in an alternative education setting. Um, and so for me, I had the opportunity um, to see students across various grade levels and various settings and um, help them identify what the struggles were, um, kind of what the barriers were in life that were helping keep them um, from being successful. And so I uh, really set myself out to find a place where I felt like the mission was to help remove those barriers for students or for families, um, to help them better themselves and better their community. And when I found Crystal House, I just knew that that was the place that I needed to be. Um, they speak to all of those things. And that is the mission um, behind the entire organization is working with marginalized populations um, to help them better themselves, um, better generations and communities. And um, I just love what I have found and, and, and excited for the future there. All right. Now, Rachel, as you've been a student, and I think your story is amazing because you're, you're a wife you're a mother and you're a student and, and, and it's a lot of people out there that, that fit in the same shoes as you. And they're sitting here wondering like, yo, is this really it? Will I really get ahead? Can I learn? What would you say to anyone out there that's thinking about coming back to, to get their high school diploma, but sit there and say, well, I'm a mother. I don't have the time. I don't know if I can learn because it's been so long since I've been in school. What would your motivation or, or your response be to them? Okay. Um, I didn't add, I work also. I work full time. Oh, and you work. Yeah. So you got a lot on your plate. Like, so you, yeah. you, you get it. So if I'm the average person that's that, that, again, we live the same life, what would be your motivation or your response to me to say, this is why this is a great program. Okay. Um, first of all, I, my children motivate me. You know, I want to get my high school diploma so I can show it to my children and they don't have no excuse not to get theirs. And also, I strive a whole lot to do very well at school because I want them to. Uh, the truth about this is you are only, you, you, would, you, are, you can stop yourself only. Nobody can stop you. You can get it. It's easy. It's just to prioritize. You need to sit down and know what you want. You want to get it. You don't want to be um, a, a low class out there or a second class. You want to work. You want to be able to earn well, live a very good life. And one of the ways to do this is to come back to school and get your diploma. And um, when you go out, when, you, when you're done with school, you are a very good catch. It's easy to balance life, family, and work. I make use of the night. I make use of my free time. I leave my mornings for my children. I work at night. And once I'm free, once I get home, I pick up my book. Like I do like five, six hours of sleep at times less because I want to, I'm, I'm paying for my future right now. So I would give a little more work, push myself. And when I'm older, I could relax and just, you know, enjoy. So it's easy. Everybody, if I can do it, everybody can do it. I have a teen, I have a 13 year old child. I have a 10 and I have a four. I'm a mom. I work. I teach them at home. They, they are all virtual. They are all at home. We all do virtual together. So I just make out time for everything. And because I am determined, I want to be successful. I am determined. I want to be a role model for my children. They don't have any excuse not to be successful. I'm a single mom. My husband is in Africa. So I'm a single mom. I have to show them exactly what I want them to be. I have to mirror it for them. So that is my motivation. Yeah. And, and Krista has our teachers are like family. I'm sorry, I have to say this. The teachers are like family. When we moved to virtual, I was emotionally drained. Like I was, I fell into depression. And the kind of support I got from my teachers, I just knew I was at the right place. They stood in for me. They visited me. They bring, they brought food for me. They did a whole lot for me. They stood with me until I was out of depression. They never left me. So the teachers are like your family. They are family to me. It's 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 wonderful being there. And 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 that's amazing to hear because if I'm someone who's thinking and it that just made me sign up. Like no question to hear it come from somebody who's living it. And 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 again, I think the story of you having to do virtual learning with your kids, that's motivation because it, it, it tells your kids, if, if I can do it, you can do it. And we're gonna do it together. And we're gonna learn this together because I want you to be great. So I, I, I think that's amazing. Now, before we wrap this up, um, I do have a couple more questions. Um, 
say I, I, I have my GED, but I want more than my GED. I want a high school diploma as you know, it's better than a GED. It, can I still come to Crystal House Doors and enroll or can I not? Absolutely. Um, so if you have earned a GED in the past, what we'll do is pull in your transcripts and take everything and you it's not doing your whole high school equivalency over again. We'll take what you've brought to us and our assessors do a great job of seeing everything that's already been accomplished and then allow our students to take the next steps to get that diploma level. Um, and the advantage of having a diploma would be that in Indiana right now, in order to get your full core 40 diploma, as Noel said earlier, you've got to do in addition to just your regular coursework, you either have to commit to doing some dual credit work um, through and we partner with Ivy Tech or to go ahead and do a pathway that would include a certification so that our students, when they leave us with that diploma piece, regardless of what they came to us with, whether it be a GED, an HSE, um, half of their high school that was started, then by having that core 40 diploma, then it unlock, unlocks the next step for them, whether that be classes in, in a, at the college level or pursuing something more in the work field, um, those certifications and um, or dual credit classes that really are that missing piece that doesn't exist with the GED or HSC are something that we're able to offer for the students. So regardless of what your previous high school experience was, maybe you never started, maybe you quit halfway through or you did go ahead and get that GED, we can help those students into the next level so that when they leave us, they have that full on diploma. Okay. Now, the, the last thing I want to talk about is the Ivy Tech piece and the pathways. Um, talk to me about the, the Ivy Tech and how this works, because I think that's, that's dope. I can sit here in high school, do some work, and at the same time, start working on college. So maybe when I graduate from you in six months to a year, I'm walking over to Ivy Tech and now I'm graduating with a bachelor's or something in another year or so, or an associate's or so. Talk to me about that a little bit. Absolutely. So as students, uh, one of the pathway options is to get the dual credit um, classes through Ivy Tech. And that involves taking three uh, classes through Ivy Tech for that pathway. So that's three classes towards your college degree that you have before you ever earn your high school diploma. So before they leave the door with us, they already have three of those classes and those classes are paid in full by us. So they are at no cost to the students. Um, and what's really great about those classes is it gives students an opportunity if they don't know quite yet what they want to do next, they can try out three different classes in three different areas um, to see what might be interesting to them before they're then spending their own money on college courses. Um, so that's a really big advantage to, to that opportunity. And that opportunity does not just exist um, for the Ivy Tech Crystal House Doors campus. That is for all of our, our campuses. Any student can um, participate in those Ivy Tech classes. Oh, that's dope. Now, some of the other things you offer, because, you know, everybody might feel college isn't for them. Do you guys also offer some maybe work ways into some apprenticeships and, and, and things like that where, hey, we can get you set up to go over here and prepare to be an electrician or things like that? Absolutely. In addition to the partnership with Ivy Tech, we have several community partnerships um, that our students can go to for certifications. Several of our students have gone through CMA, phlebotomy. Um, we have lots of students who go through construction and welding certifications, um, CompTIA, which is like a computer course. So the, the sky is really the limit when it comes to certifications um, for work and career. Our assessors do an amazing job of talking with our students to see where their passion really lies so that when we get, get them placed into a certification, it's something that's going to be meaningful for them, not just in order to um, click the box for that, that pathway, but also to really help them build a foundation for what happens when they leave us. So um, there's really not any area where we where we can't look for those certifications and just like the um dual credit courses for ivy tech the certifications um are free of cost to our students we make sure that we take care of that portion so that that doesn't become a barrier to moving forward for the students 
All right. Now, before I get you out of here, I, 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 I want to walk this down from step one to the end. So if I'm somebody who is interested in, in getting my high school diploma, what's my first step to contact Crystal House Doors? So they can go to chdoors, which is C-H-D-O-R-S dot org. Um, and at the top, there is an enrollment button. All they need to do is click on that button and fill out the quick application. It's just a few short questions. Um, and that will come to us and we will be in contact within 48 hours to get them started. All right. I get the call. Hey, this is such and such from this is Noel from Crystal House Doors. We got your application. Uh, come on by one of our multiple locations. We have four campuses. Plus, we're virtual. So we can set that up at this point. Boom. I get over there. I haven't been in high school in 15, 20 years and I don't know what to expect. And I have all kind of anxiety running through my brain. Um, who am I dealing with? Is there a counselor that's going to take care of me and, and be my friend and help me and talk to me? I see Rachel nodding because she's like, yeah, <laughs> they got you. You're this family. So who, who, who am I dealing with once I'm there and I, and I have this anxiety hitting me? So so once, oh, okay. Once the um, students have completed the online portion, uh, they'll come in and meet with what we call our assessors, right? So in a traditional high school, they'd be referred to as guidance counselors. But at this level, they're assessing more than um, just what might be seen in a traditional high school because our students are adults and they're coming to us with lots of different um, challenges and obstacles that may have prevented them from earning their diploma earlier. Our assessors do a great job of talking with them about what their anxiety level might be, what are they worried about, what do they think will be easy, uh, what do they know is going to be a challenge. Um, they also meet with our resource specialists, which are like our social workers, right? And so they will then see what needs that they might need to help the students um, with outside of academics, right? So that they can help them overcome whatever challenges or obstacles that are going on other than um, academically. So we have a whole team, a, a support team really, for each of our students that starts from the very beginning in the intake process after the application is filled out so that those students can have any questions that they might have about school answered, but also that they can be plugged into resources that exist in the community through our partnerships so that something that may have prevented them from earning their diploma before, we can help to build strategies or find resources that will overcome that obstacle so that they can focus on the academic part. All right, so boom, you help me out. I get in here, I talk to my assessor and, and, and my other counselor and I say, hey, I, I have to catch the bus. And you like, bet, we got you. Here goes some bus passes. This gets you to class three days a week, four days a week, because we want to help you and make sure that that's not the problem. Boom. I get in, we start classes. Now, are you guys going to hit me with the, all right, you got to, we're going to get you out of this school in two months. Are you, it's two months long. If you can't figure that out, uh -oh. or now nah, it's, it's your pace. We're going to take time. We're, we're, we're going to work with you to make sure you understand this. This isn't about rushing. This is about making sure you mentally understand what's going on so we can put you at the best level to help you grow as a human being and get the next job. Go to college or go to an entrepreneur, I mean, an internship and become something that you want to be. Like, how does that work? Is, is, is this, does this class have a time limit? of you know what i mean or is it a no it's work at your pace we're going to get you through this crystal house is all about personalization um, and so creating your own pathway is what we're all about so every student comes to us with different needs and different barriers um, and different strengths so if you're coming to us and you're a student who just needs to finish up that certification and one or two last minute credits to get on out the door um, it may only take you a few weeks to a couple of months with us we also have students who have spent as long as nine years in the program who have been those English language learners who come in and, and spend time really getting um, a, a thorough background in that English acquisition so that they're then prepared to go on to those high school credit bearing classes. Um, and we just had a student who graduated this past spring who had started in our very first class nine years ago. Um, and he graduated with his diploma and a welding certification and, and was on his way to um, that career that he, he's been working so hard for for all of those years. So it's really amazing to watch everybody take their own journey um, and to see the outcome at the end. All right. Now we get in the class. I'm doing amazing. I'm ready to graduate. And this is probably one of Rachel's favorite parts. Like, all right. 
the big day is here. I graduate. And of course, I know we're in a pandemic, but let's act like we're not in a pandemic. <laughs> I, I graduate and I, and I put my blood, I put my sweat and I put my tears into really going to class, doing my best, getting to the end. Do we get to have a, a nice graduation? Because this is something that I would love to celebrate with my family. I want my kids to see it. I want my, my mom, my dad to really see what I worked so hard for. And like I say, Rachel is a mom of three. She, you know, and I'm sure she wants to, her children to see this big accomplishment as it is something she'll be able to cherish for the rest of her life. Her children will be a part like, how does that look? Because I know for some people, this accomplishment means so much. Graduation is one of my favorite days of the year. So traditionally, um, we would have a full graduation. One of the nice things with us is all three of our campuses come together and we celebrate all of our graduates together in a in a traditional graduation ceremony. Um, and unlike being in a, in a regular K-12 high school, um, we don't limit the number of, of guests that you have so that you can embrace your entire family through this process. Now, with the pandemic, it was a little bit different this year, but we were so pleased that we were able to, even under those circumstances, host an in-person graduation. So each of our students who had worked so hard were able to come up and receive their diploma and walk across that stage and celebrate those victories um, with their families. So it's, it's amazing to see our students. Um, oftentimes, last year, we had uh, three student um, husband and wife groups who came through um, and to see the support and to be able to celebrate them and the hard work and the work that they've done with us academically, but also the journey that it took for them to come to us in the first place. So it's it's a real celebration. That's dope. Like, and, I, and I think that means a lot to people. Rachel, if you want to speak on anything like that, are you excited for that part? Oh, yes. I look forward to it. I can't wait for the day I would walk through the stage and my children cheer me. I just can't wait. I love it. And, um, and that's what it's about. You know, a, a, again, I, I appreciate. I think we've talked everything. Um, I, I hope that we got a lot of a, a lot of messaging out there for people out there. Again, it's never too late to graduate. I don't care if you're 18 or 92, please check out Crystal House Doors. Again, the website for people to uh, to enroll is, is what? It's C-H-D-O-R-S dot O-R-G. Then click the enroll button. All right. It's three campuses um, all across town. Can you give me the locations of the campuses again for those out there in case they want to know? Sure, at West, we're at 55 North Tibbs, which is just at the corner of Washington and Tibbs. Ivy Tech is downtown at the corner of Fall Creek and Meridian in the North Meridian Center building on Ivy Tech. And then we also have our South Campus that is down off of East Street near Garfield Park, which is our evening campus. All right. Well, ladies, I appreciate you for taking some time. And hopefully we're inspiring some people um, to, to enroll in high school and, and get that high school diploma and even work towards college credits and even a, a, a career path with some of the programs that you offer and, and steer people to. I want to say, Rachel, I'm rooting for you. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely rooting. I, I, I can't wait to talk to the ladies at one point. They were like, you remember, Rachel? She graduated. You know, and I can I give you an air hug because I can't be there, but you know, I, I'm excited for this. And, and again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anybody who wants to apply or check out Crystal House Doors, please go to chdoors.org, right? chdoors.org. Yep. And you can apply. Uh, thank you very much for being a part of our panel. We appreciate you and we'll see you the next time.